One of the powerful features inside Premiere is the ability to match shots. This I like a great deal. Here's how it works. This is a conversation between two men who are throwing stones at the lake and drinking beer, as guys around the world seem to do, talking about them, the meaning of life and what's happening with them. The problem is, I like this shot right here. I like the cool winter feeling it keeps with the flannel shirts and the hats. But the rest of these close-ups are so warm. They're, they're not winter-like. And then we end with this wonderful winterish shot again. It'd be nice if I could match the colors of these interior shots with the open and closing bookend. And we can, but you have to go into a special setting. And that's over here. We click on the wrench icon, and let's switch this to comparison view. Comparison view, if I grab the edge here and drag this, we'll just hide our scopes for a bit. There we go. Comparison view allows me to see two versions of this timeline. This slider shows me what's in the comparison view, which is always a still frame, but I can pick which frame I want to look at. This on the right-hand side represents the timeline. So here's how this works. I want to take this shot, the third shot into the timeline, and match the color tones from here. With the comparison view open, and with the playhead in the comparison view on the shot whose color tones I want to move, I go over to the Lumetri color panel, go down to where it says color wheels and match, and the apply match button lights up. Watch the picture on the right here. When I click apply match in two, one, woof, it takes the colors from this scene it decreases the saturation, it shifts everything toward blue, it boosts the levels. So this is before, and this is after. It took the richness out, took the summer feeling out, and made it much more wintry. That is great. I love this. It works really, really well, but I can only use one shot at a time. If I wanted to change it, let's say I want to make it a little bit bluer, I can still make changes to it. Make it bluer, make it a little bit darker, a little bit more of a hazy day. I can, I can change the settings because it, it changes the settings but leaves them fully adjustable, which is cool. But now how do I apply it to the rest of these clips? Select the clip that has the settings you like and copy it. Edit, copy, keyboard shortcut, of course, Command C. Holding the Shift key down, select all the clips that you want to adjust and go up to the Edit menu and say Paste attributes. And I want to add the Lumetri color settings from the clip that I copied. Click OK. And now all of these clips have got that cold blue feeling. This is a good example of where I don't want to have his skin tone directly on the skin tone line because I'm trying to establish the emotion that it's a cold winter day which has a blue feeling. Okay, that's perfectly fine. But if I was interviewing the actor about his role in the movie, I'd want to have his skin tone looking normal. So it's nice to have that skin tone line, but there's also times where you don't need to pay attention to it. Look at me. Thank you. So with the clip selected, we can now make additional adjustments over here in the color wheels. This allows me to increase or let's go back to scopes. Turn off the comparison view, go back to composite video, open up our scope so we can see what's going on. This allows me to change shadow settings, pull it down, the shadows get darker, or up, they get lighter. This allows me to change grayscale settings for midtones. This allows me to change grayscale settings for highlights. If I double click the center, when there's a hole here in the center, it means that I'm not making any color adjustments. When I grab the crosshair and drag it, when the center fills in, it means I'm making a color adjustment and I'm adding blue, or I'm adding red, or I'm adding green. Generally, you don't drag it all the way to the edge. You're never having to be that, that kind of dramatic change, but you're moving it off center, which is adding a color cast to the highlights or the midtones or the shadows. 
This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on videoscopes and color grading in Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 383. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks 